morning! Welcome back to another video. My name is Iori. Today we're talking about my Miata. Today's video, I'm going to talk about my turbo system and the finding the balance of quality, price, and performance. Living in Japan, I had the pleasure of constantly seeing clean and clubbed out JDM Legend cars. After buying my FD3S, the market began to explode. $8,000 cars are now being sold for $30,000 to $50,000 and that just didn't seem worth it to me. So I bought a Miata. I love this car so much. To be honest, it was really, really slow. Like, really, really slow. So I reached out to my friends who I will leave the link down below and I asked them how to make my Miata faster. They told me for about $5,000, I can turbo my Miata and it's going to be faster than FD. But I ain't got $5,000, but I did have about $3,500. So we just sent it, whatever. If you're like me and have no fabrication skills, this is the kit you have to build. So I started with a flying Miata and a cooler kit that cost me about $600. What I like about this is that all the hosts are silicone and they have made all the spots for the sensors except that IAT but we'll get to that later. Also, their quality and their reputation are the best in the Miata world. But I didn't want to pay for $4,000 for their full kit because that will leave me with just a turbo kit and nothing else. And we can have that. So I started looking at a bunch of pictures. I didn't know if I would fit, but I just sent it anyway. So next I bought CX Racing Manifold, Turbo, and Downpipe. It cost about $1,400. I'm not doing math, but our budget is disappearing quickly. A lot of people said really bad things about CX Racing, but their customer service are incredible. And this V2 Manifold is incredible. Let me know if you want me to review it in the comments down below. So now I have a full turbo kit for the same price as the CX kit. But I don't have to cut anything on my car. And I keep air conditioning and power steering. But I will add if you buy um, CX Racing hot side, you need to buy better oil line and tea. Because the one in the kit is butt cheeks. Also, I will probably buy a bigger oil turn fitting. Now the car is turbocharged, it's time to make it run. So I followed my tuner's advice and I bought Mega Squirt for $800. But if you want to save a little bit of money, you can always buy Speedy EFI. It's only $400 and those guys are really active in the Facebook groups. So I also bought Amp EFI Electric Boost Control Solenoid for 60 bucks. I also bought Innovate PSB1. Well, it's a two-in-one white bin and boost gauge. I will really recommend this because it's $250. My tuner didn't like how long it took to get it working. So you can save 50 bucks just buying O'Reilly's boost gauge and a used white bin. For $100, I bought Volvo 255. It plugged right in pretty easily. For $50, I bought four RXA injectors. I just have to pull them from the junkyard myself. So it cost $25 and cleaning was $25. You can't get much cheaper than that. But stay away from any that you find on eBay. Or just make a trip to the junkyard. RXA blow up all the time. You'll find it in the junkyard. I bought Speedy EFI matte delete plug for $40. And finally, I bought Clutch Max Stage 2 Clutch and Lightweight Flywheel for $180. This clutch is strong, looks good quality, but pedal is pretty stiff. I know a lot of you guys will comment on reliability on the parts that I chose, 
but my Miata is a cheap car and I don't have a lot of money. So everything for me cost about $4,400 and about three months of waiting for shipping to Japan. Also my tune was free, but if you don't have a legit tuner, save back for that because it's the most important part. It's really easy to break something with a bad tune. I have a full 3 inch exhaust from Induza Car. It is resonated and has a muffler. Enthusacar.com says it for full 40. And all in, I made my goals and powers and hit the race. So my car is right hand drive. Also, I have more space than a left hand drive car. So fly me at a radiator hose does not have to be cut for the NA. And the silicone hose are really easy to bend. So you can get around all the brackets pretty easily. On the cold side, you will have to tap a hole for your IAT. And there is some contact here, but I didn't notice any differences. And the oil feed touches the hood when you close it, so you, you actually have to kind of cut it, or you can just actually buy a higher quality hose. You can see which one I did. Driving around at 1.1 bar, I beat some pretty impressive legend cars. I will add a list at the end of this video, but I'm gonna be honest, I lost a couple of pretty cool cars in my last day of Okinawa. I blew out the CX gasket. Yeah, that's an exhaust switch. The car barely made 7 psi, so I took all the L's. But I think those dudes knew what was up. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them in the leave them in the comment below. Leave them in the comments down below. And if you have tried this as well, also let me know. If you're watching this, tag me on Instagram because I would like to see your special Turbo Miata build. Anyway, thanks for watching. And small disclaimer. <laughs> I may have lost a few of those races from the beginning, but I won't tell you which ones, but you can probably guess. Anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on the Instagram, and never let anyone tell you that you cannot build your dream. See you in the next one. Matane! Go ahead and let the beat drop right down She go ahead and drop it low with the right sound Feeling so hot in the snow with the top down Low top veins and the cold frost bite sound Damn right not good for the heart But nothing is so I take on the part Go grab the good, I take in the part Finish line flows while you head back to start Gas push and we taking it off Guess this but I'm taking me off Talk shit it's just ticking me off But you and I